this lady said, you know, like, hi, thanks so much for your, um, you know, content and all that stuff. But I did just want to let you know that somebody is scamming people using your images. <laughs> I was like, oh. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another week in my business. My coffee's just finishing up. Let me grab that my hair seriously so it is monday my hair is doing something crazy i'm just gonna try not to look in the viewfinder and just live with it um it's monday morning and i just made my first cup of coffee of the day and i am ready to take on a new week it's gonna be a good week i am convinced of it last week was super busy i had a lot of anxiety about random things and um I'm excited to make this better week. It's also my birthday week. My birthday is on Wednesday, so I'm just trying to kind of get ahead of the week so I'll be able to actually take that day off and just enjoy my birthday. So first thing I usually do on Mondays, um, it's about seven on the dot right now. So I usually just have some time to drink my coffee and I'll usually either put on the news or read the news or put on a YouTube video. I think today I'm just feeling lighthearted, chill. So I'm gonna see what's on YouTube, drink my coffee, and then I'm gonna head into my office. I already powered up my computer and get started on my work for the day. Norris. Norris, did you wanna get up? that is going to be on my list today is cleaning up this room. So I started on my taxes. I won't show you, obviously, because I don't know what kind of sensitive paperwork is down there, but I ripped this thing apart looking for one of my 1099 forms. That was fun over the weekend. And then I also shot three videos, actually, two videos in here and one video in the bedroom. So I need to clean up. Click my little light on. But before I do that, I got a couple of things that I need to get done um, this morning. So I'll probably clean up this office this afternoon. So many of you guys, by the way, told me that you bought that light. It is pretty cool, isn't it? So I'm gonna link it down below in this video as well. I think it just really helps out if you are doing any like Instagram stories or vlogging or anything like that. It's nice to be able to have a little bit of a brighter light source uh, to just flick on real quick. Okay, so today I have some social posts to write for a client real quick or finish up. I actually wrote them over the weekend. I just need to get them into the scheduling tool. I need to send that same client over kind of a plan for our LinkedIn channel, just like a, a loose strategy. I have two, oh, I totally forgot about this. I have two discovery calls today for my coaching program. So that's exciting. And I also am going to um, send over a new contract for an existing client, one of my retainer clients. Some things have changed just with the process of how they want me to like submit invoices and stuff. And so I just want to make sure that my contract that I have with them reflects that. And then this weekend I shot a video for my second channel, which is like so crazy to say. I haven't said that in a long time, but I mentioned, wait, did I even tell you guys that I'm engaged? I don't think I did. Um, anyway, I'm engaged now. <laughs> Norris and I are engaged, which is exciting. I'm not gonna like run through why I'm starting back up my second channel in heavy detail, but that video hopefully will be up by the time you're watching this, so I'll link that down below. It's like just a casual chit chat, get ready with me video, and I talk through a weird story time that happened to me and also just update everyone on what's going on with getting married and stuff. So I wanna get that video up and prepped sometime this week so i'm gonna work on that it's kind of a lot of things but it's early and i'm ready to get started so let's do it Woo. unfortunately i think it may be time for a new smoothie maker because this was just like a super cheap one on amazon i think i paid maybe 30 dollars for it i could put whatever I wanted in there and it would blend it. And now it's like, I have to thin it down so much and I don't like it to be super watery. I like them to be really thick. So I think I may need to buy like a kind of high, higher quality one. But I mean, that thing lasted me almost a year, I think. Anyway, it feels really good having most of my to-do list done at 9.20 AM besides my two discovery calls, obviously. Those are later in the afternoon. 
So one other thing that I like to do just every Monday, I like to go through my emails, number one, and just make sure I didn't miss anything. And then another thing I do is I go into Upwork and I have one gig on there that's like a weekly slash monthly retainer. So I go in and I enter my work that I submitted for that, that contract. And then I also go in to my invitations. I usually have at least a couple of invitations to jobs to look through and I just go through those and I will either accept them or decline them if you know if I have time if they look interesting I'll write a pitch if not I will decline them and say I don't have time or the proposed budget is too low or whatever the case is so I'm gonna do that just kind of admin type stuff and drink my smoothie So I took my lunch and then I just sat out here and just kind of wrote in my handy dandy notebook. How cute is this? I'm actually sending these out for my new coaching program. These are some of the, the goodies that my clients are going to get. So I'm excited about that. But that's actually kind of what I was just writing out is I think sometimes when we're in this world, especially in digital, we forget about pen to paper and the magic that that holds. And I just left my phone in my office, no internet, no nothing on the TV and just sat here and just like brain dumped. And I think that is just so important to really just kind of be alone with your thoughts and your ideas. So spent some time doing that and then I got on my discovery call and met with a really, really nice person who wants to move forward, which is exciting. So we're gonna start working together one-on-one -on -one. and then I have another one for the same thing in like an hour. So I think I'm just gonna do some more planning for my new program. It's, uh, yeah, I have a lot of like things that I'm planning and going to be launching and things like that this fall, so. Just kind of planning for those things and I think I'm just gonna try to sort of maintain what I've got going on as best as I can from now through the summer and then in the fall is when I'm gonna be introducing my new things I really wanted to take a walk but um it's rainy it's gonna be rainy all day which sucks I kind of hate those days where like I've just been inside all day but got a lot done so super quick wardrobe change so I keep a couple of blazers in this closet here right in this closet i actually need to move more of them in here to be honest and yeah it's four days exactly like this where i've been in my pajamas all day and a hoodie all day but i have a video call at the end of the day so did a really really quick freshen up i actually haven't changed my makeup i just have eyebrows kind of on a little bit of mascara and some like lip gloss or whatever lip color and yeah, I mean, my hair is a little crazy, but from here up, it'll look okay. I'll look a little bit more professional. So anyway, um, my first coaching client said yes, so hopefully I'm on a good streak and um, this other person will sign on too. So that'll be two a day, a, a winning day, a profitable day. <laughs> even, even if she just says no, it's still a profitable day, so that's a good feeling. Hi guys, happy Tuesday. Got a bit of a mess behind me, so don't pay too much attention to that. But I just wanted to pop in and let you know what was going on for today. It's 3 p.m. and I'm getting ready for two calls. I have a mastermind call for my group at five, and then at six, I'm meeting with a one-on-one -on -one client. So I don't know why I scheduled them so close to each other, because I'm gonna have to have a hard stop for the mastermind call, but all should be well. It's like normally a lot of people weren't showing up to that because of the membership platform that I was using and I started moving the events onto Facebook and now a lot of people are showing up so I'm just hoping we can get through everybody. But it's good to know that people don't hate me and people do want to attend, they just weren't, weren't being notified about it. Hello guys. Happy Friday. I am, I don't know what I'm doing. I tried to start a week in my business vlog earlier this week and it didn't work out. So I'm vlogging today though. So happy Friday. I'm actually really excited for today because I, why am I excited again? Oh, 
I'm attending a virtual summit today, which is fun, a fun way to end the week. My friend, Jean, who I've done a webinar with before, he owns an app called Yuriji. He sent me a ticket for my birthday to this um, virtual summit, so that was really nice. So I'm gonna be tuning into that in about an hour. I just kind of had a bit of a slow morning. We went to Starbucks. That's kind of like been a little treat for us every once in a while. It's one of the few coffee shops that is open. And now I'm going to try in this next hour before the summit starts. Why is my camera out of focus? Hello. Hi, hi, it's me. Hello, mouse. I'll be right back, guys. As I was saying, I kind of wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my podcast promotion as well, which is quite simple, but here's what I do when a new podcast episode goes live. So it goes live at midnight every Friday. So I let it do its thing overnight. I usually get too excited about my Instagram caption, to be honest, like I try to wait. I draft my Instagram caption and I try to wait until like seven in the morning to post it. But often I end up posting it right at midnight because I, I don't know, I'm like, I have this problem with videos too, where when I create videos, I need them to be out in the world immediately. Like when I look at the footage, I'm like, I need to edit it right now. And then the next morning I post it onto Twitter. I'll post it into my Facebook group, my Facebook page. And honestly, that's kind of like all that I do besides just posting about it in my stories. And it really is so helpful when you guys share the podcast in your stories. Like if something resonates with you, often people will share little screenshots. And that's nice because I can kind of like constantly be like reminding people that it's out that way. But I try not to do too much like hard, hard promotion. You know what I mean? So I'm just working on doing some of those things. Now that I have the keyboard issue, I probably don't have time to finish my client project before this summit starts. So I'll probably just work on podcast prom promotion, emails, stuff like that. And then I'll work on my client project at some point throughout the day, so. Speaking of gadgets and things, I kind of want to share a video about Amazon products for your office soon. But this, I just have to share with you guys now. How cool is this? I feel like I'm in like a real office. I have a little power source, just like when I sat at a cube. This is really, really affordable. I'll leave it linked down below, but I wanted something that had a USB charger. And it just has a couple of outlets. So still trying to figure out total cord management for in here, but I feel like I'm getting a lot better. And I just realized the microphone was pointed backwards. So I hope you guys could hear any of what I just said. I don't think the economy um, and is going to get back to any kind of new normal or re normal until we figure out the virus. And that's, you know, that's the fact. And I strongly believe, like uh, some of us around the table, that independent labels, smaller stores, uh, smaller experience, but very clear communities would be the future. This summit is awesome. I've been to a lot of virtual summits and honestly, like they're just, a lot of them are not, they're just not it. Um, or, you know, it's like, I don't know, a couple of the sessions are good, the rest are not, blah, blah, blah. They're very fluffy. This is like really good stuff. But I have to take like a five or 10 minute break from listening because some crazy stuff has happened. It's so weird like how many crazy things can happen when I'm just sitting in my chair because of this digital world that we have. So I was just about to log on to the Zoom call and I just happened to be checking my other DMs, which I don't do very often. I check those like once a week. And you know, like how if it's not somebody you know, it gets put into another folder. And this lady said, you know, like, hi, thanks so much for your, um, your, uh, you know, content and all that stuff. But I did just want to let you know that somebody is scamming people using your images. <laughs> I was like, oh, can you please send me the account? And so thankfully, so thankful for her. Uh, she said that she was like trying to find me because she knew she had seen me on YouTube and it, something wasn't right about it. So it was like this Forex account, almost 10,000 followers that was asking, you know, asking people to enroll in like some Forex coaching or whatever the heck, I don't even know. So I had to like go through this. I had to take a picture of me holding up my ID, send it to into Facebook slash Instagram, posted the account on all my social channels. I need to like smell a little eucalyptus to calm me down. Luckily the account got taken down within like 20 minutes and I hope it really got taken down and she didn't just change her username. I can't really tell, but I think it got taken down because even if I search for like her photo links and stuff, it doesn't come up. So that was kind of crazy. 
it just makes me feel bad. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's like weird to have somebody impersonating me, but mostly I feel bad for people because I'm sure she was not asking for a reasonable amount of, amount of money. They were probably asking for, you know, thousands of dollars and it's a tough time right now. Like people don't have an extra few thousand dollars. So that was weird. And yeah, I'm also just waiting on a contract to come through. I am actually going to be creating a new course and I'm working with a company this time. So that should be an interesting experience, but um, yeah, I'm waiting for the contract. I'm hoping to get that wrapped up today just so I can like get cracking on it on Monday morning. So waiting for that, taking a breather after that weird hacking incident, ate lunch and I have a call in 40 minutes. So I'm just gonna tune back into this in the meantime. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not going to show you what I'm working on because I have a like, client's information. Basically, I just had a call with my client. I have a call with them every Friday and we use Haro, help a reporter, so helpareporter.com to source quotes for our blog. So um, I just thought I would kind of like share that with you guys. I know a lot of people know about Haro, but I kind of only knew about it from a source side. You can sign up if you're looking to be featured in press, you can sign up to get emails and they'll say, hey, we're looking for social media managers who have insight on XYZ, or we're looking for moms who have, you know, whatever, whatever it is, you get a bunch of different things and then you can pitch that. To me, I don't put a lot of effort in that, but I know people who do and they get like so many good press mentions. So all of my press mentions have happened pretty organically. I get questions about that, like my business insider feature and I was even featured in Forbes, not really totally business related, but technically was in Forbes. So anyway, we use it on our blog when they want quotes from like experts and stuff. And it just helps to kind of build up your blog a little bit better, make it a little bit more interesting and compelling and also helps to get you know additional insight besides just your company. So again, like I said, you could do the exact same thing if I had a, a blog for let's say my agency and I wanted to reach out to e-commerce brands who have been successful using video on Amazon to sell their products because that's something that I do for my clients. I could reach out and get a bunch of people giving me quotes and it just helps and then obviously in an ideal world, they would see that they're mentioned in it and they would share it with their audience and all that stuff. So I'm just kind of going through and submitting some Haro pitches. It's a fun little tip for you guys. And then I'm going to finish this video edit, which I really honestly don't want to do, but I'm just telling myself it's not going to be that bad. It's not going to be that bad, right? It's not going to be that bad. All right. It's a little haul time. So I just went and checked my mail. You guys, every time I wear this sweater, by the way, it like looks, I swear, it looks like there's like stuff all over. It's lint. This this sweater gets like really linty. I don't know what cute way to stand. I feel like the lighting is better on this side. So I got these little tape dispensers. They're for washi tape. I think it will work nicely because sometimes I need markers for the floor for where I put my camera. Since I shoot in so many different positions and you know, for so many different things. Wait, how does this go? So we put it in this thing like this, put them on. Yeah, I shoot in like, you know, different positions. And so I want to have markers on the floor for certain areas so I have the same setup every time. And so I wanna use washi tape for that. I mean, I feel like it's like a little small. I don't know, I, can't, I, I really have no idea what's going on, but I got that. I mentioned in my personal, my second channel video that I've been detoxing my nails. If you guys aren't subscribed to my second channel, you can do that, I'll leave a link down below. But I mentioned that I'm detoxing my nails. I haven't painted my nails pretty much all of quarantine. I wanted to buy some nice new like formaldehyde free uh, nail polish. And so I saw this brand on Instagram, Static Nails and I got sucked in. I got two little pastel colors, which will be nice for spring, but also winter and even summer. You guys, so expensive though, like $50, including shipping. And these are so small. They're way smaller than I expected. So like, I'm gonna compare it to my essential oil bottle. It's like about the same size, less really. So this better be good stuff. And then I also got like the clear coat to go on the bottom because everyone says, Make sure you use a bottom coat if you don't want your nails to turn colors and get stained. So and then this is a little present from my mom and my sister. Um, and it says, love is patient, love is kind. It's a gift for my 
birthday, but it also said like congratulations on your engagement. So I guess it's a gift for both. So they got me a mug, so cute. So it has this mug, which is super cute. It's like marbly and gold, like so my vibe. I guess this is like a stir stirrer stick or something and then a little custard. Love it, adorbs. All right, so now I'm gonna go put all this stuff away, wash my hands again, put the mug in the dishwasher. Well, let me see if it's dishwashable. Doesn't say, I'll probably hand wash it. And then finish up my client work, for real. And I'm gonna paint my nails. I, I wanna sit down in our positions just so we might as well see how everything looks. Sitting down in our position. Well, this wire is in the middle of it. Oh yeah, what the fuck? But you know, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Look how bright I am. Yep. <laughs> 